that no one knows the unseen but Allah. See, we believe in the unseen. And we trust in the unseen, that there's a life beyond this life, that the result of good is good, right? That things is going to get, we believe that. But Allah knows, and he has the keys to unlock or open it up for you. And this ayah continues, and then we'll close after this ayah 59. He says, well, Listen to this. Man feel a barbarity well back. And he knows what is on the land and what is in the sea. Now anything we eat on the land, we have to make it halal, right? What's in the sea is already halal. When you go with some fish or whatever, you don't have to go through a halal process. So Allah says he knows what is in the land. Now, this word is very important. You know, art, earth, right? Belly, town, associated with earth too. This word, belly, is land also, like dry land, fertile land, etc. But from this B R R, Barra, with Shebin, you get the word beer. And you go to Surah 2, Ayat 177, it's called Ayatul Beer, the Ayat of Righteousness. And Allah says, it is not beer that you turn your face to the east or to the west. But to believe in Allah, to believe in his angels, believe in his book. So you see the beauty of it, we won't go into all of it now. So it says, Allah knows the righteous land and the sea. And he says, What man does go do? Men in the and we'll close. And Allah says, there's not a leaf, brothers and sisters, that falls from the tree. Alhamdulillah. And there's not a grain that's buried in the darkness of the earth or anything that is fresh or withered that is not in a record, a clear record, that Allah is fully aware of. Now, what can you say? If Allah said it ain't a leaf that falls that he hasn't recorded, and it's not a grain buried in the darkness that he's not fully aware of, then you know darn well he's aware of everything we do and everything we think. Right? So we turn to him. He knows our pain. Allah sees us. He knows it all. And he knows that. And that's why Allah says, he got the key to the unseen. And then he gives us an example. But I'm going to ask you now if you're doing your husband thing, what's it? Acting what the husband thing, what you never have been done. Alhamdulillah. And what's that? I mean. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulahi kareem, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So in the three minutes that we have, we stay in Quran always. Muhammad the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I leave you two things, Quran and my sunnah. Whoever follows that will never go astray, right? This is our life. So just wanted to tie that in as we talk about al-fatiha and the salat, etc., right? But know that El Fatiha is an opening, a victorious opening, and a key. It's a key. It's a key to unlock so much. And it's seven verses. And we, we just don't have the time to do it now, but we know when we turn for Salat, what do we do? We turn to the Kaaba, the Qibla, right? And when you go there for Umrah or Hajj, you have to go around it seven times, right? And then from there, you go perform Sa'i seven times, right? Etc. Right? And then we go to Sajda, which Muhammad the Prophet says, seven bones touch the ground. But we'll just do this last ayat and close ayat 50. Allah says, following that, the guy, the leaf that falls, and he's fully aware, he's aware of everything. Now listen carefully, we close. Well, who is it? 
وجلموا ما جرحتم في النهار. That it is He who brings your completion, and He'll translate, who takes your soul at night. And you read that, right? That Allah takes our soul at night. Some He returns, right? And others they pass on. So here it says, it is He who brings about your completion. It doesn't happen. But that's what this word means. At night, when you sleep. It's so that's why sleep is called a relative of death. So he takes your soul at night. And then he says, Well, yet lemu majoratum binahari. And he knows what you have done by day, right? Before you lay down to sleep, Allah is aware of what you did by in the day, right? And then Allah says, Do man yet eth to kum fihi. That then he will raise you up from your sleep. Fihi li yuk da angelum musame. He'll bring you out of your sleep, brothers and sisters, until it's time for you to complete an appointed time. You see? That's this Quran. That's Allah when we sleep in death, right? And then Allah says, and then, Thumma ilayhi marji ukum, Thumma yunambi ukum bima kuntum tatmalum. And then after we appointed time for us to leave this life, the transition, Allah said, then you will return to him, and he will inform you of all that you did. Sadaqallahu alayhi. Surely Allah speaks the truth. So dear believers, in closing, we just want to keep all of this in mind, that Allah is always in charge of the unseen, even as we deal with this coronavirus and anything else. Allah knows what's behind that. Allah knows where all that's going. Allah knows your life, my life. He has the keys to the unseen, and he can unlock whatever he wants for any one of us. Just imagine leaves falling all the time, right? Allah say, no, it ain't a leaf that, no, that leaf ain't just falling haphazard. And you bury a grain in the depth, the darkness of the earth. Allah say, he's fully aware of it. It's just if it's recorded in a book, then he comes to us to let you know, see how I did that? Well, I take your soul at night when you resting. Some of you return, some of you don't, right? So Allah knows every thought before it comes. Allah is fully aware. So brothers and sisters, always trust in Allah. Have faith in Allah. And Allah says, whatever he opens up of mercy to someone, there's none that can hold it back. So trust in Allah. And what Allah holds back, there's none that can send it forth. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Wa fi akirati hasana. You don't have to say nothing, we know that, but I'm just feeling that way. Assalamu alaikum, peace be unto all of us. And may Allah guide and protect each and every one of us. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen,